morning, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to school on this Tuesday. Oh, yes, a terrific Tuesday it is. The 14th day of November, forgot my day it was, 14th day of November in the year 2017. I do hope your day's off to a terrific start. Sit back now, though, because here are your morning announcements. Yes, today would be a day eight schedule. Let's follow that day eight routine. Uh, yes, today is also an early dismissal day. Because it's an early dismissal day, students, if you ride the bus, remember those buses are departing at 2.15. If you're not a bus rider, we kindly ask you to depart the campus by 2.20 because as teachers have meetings this afternoon, and we again, we greatly appreciate and expect you to depart the campus by 2.20. And then, as a result of the fact that uh, we have parent-teacher conferences the next two days, students, you actually don't have school. So because today is day eight, you don't have school the next two days. We're back in session on Sunday, and that will be a day one. Uh, yes, we have uh, parent-teacher uh, conferences the next two days. Students, you're kindly invited to participate in these student-involved conferences. The conferences will run from 8 a.m. until 4 p.m. each of the next two days. Uh, school pictures uh, will be taken on Sunday, November 19th. The school, the picture packets will be distributed today. Students, you're also going to get a, uh, information uh, from your teachers. Next week, we'll be taking a wellness census survey uh, put out by the KHDA. Uh, your teachers will share more information about that. But again, today, you will be receiving the picture packets. And again, take those home to your parents uh, for those school pictures. They can be purchased. And again, the pictures will be taken on Sunday, the 19th. Please wear your school uniform, regular white polo shirt. These pictures, of course, will appear in the annual, so we need you looking proper and prim for the school pictures. Yesterday's student council meeting was uh, rescheduled for today, so all student council members, please grab your lunch and make your way to Miss Starling's room at 11.50 today, and she will see you there. Uh, attention student uh, voice committee members, attention SVC members, uh, remember that you are you can schedule working lunches with the counselors this week. You do not have a meeting on Wednesday, but you, again, you can schedule your working lunches with the counselors uh, today, I guess, if you'd like, and then into next week. Are you excited about the upcoming winter break? Do you like watching movies with your friends? I asked you these questions yesterday. If you answered yes, remember that the December movie night is fast approaching, and maybe that's a fun way for you to have fun with your friends and watch movies. This event will take place on Thursday, December 7th in the Secondary Library uh, from 3.30 until 5.45 p.m. It's pretty simple. There's a parent permission form here in the office. The only reason for a parent permission form is just to inform your parents about what time the movie's over and what time they can pick you up. Snacks will be available for that movie, so come on out, fill out the parent form. That is your only ticket. It's free to get in. Bring that parent permission form with you and uh, come enjoy Home Alone on December 7th. The grade 7 students going on the Week Without Walls trip to Nepal will be meeting today in Miss Walter's room uh, during lunchtime. Please grab your lunch and come there for that Week Without Walls trip meeting Grade 7, today at lunch. Today is World Diabetes Day, thus I'm wearing blue. Uh, please uh, now sit back and please respectfully watch the following student-created video with important information about diabetes. Pancreas is an organ that is located behind the stomach that creates a hormone called insulin. Insulin is a hormone that serves as a key for the glucose or sugar to get into your muscle cells. Diabetes is when your pancreas doesn't make enough insulin to accommodate for the amount of sugar in your body. Sometimes the pancreas makes a normal amount of insulin, but the body doesn't respond to it like it should. Type 1 diabetes is when the body attacks the pancreas, which produces insulin and can only be treated with insulin. Insulin is the hormone that breaks down sugars in your body. There's no way to cure it, but there's a way to slow it down and stop it. Type 2 is a result of multiple genetic mutations. However, none of those genetic mutations can be the main factor or reason that somebody actually has diabetes type 2. Other reasons that someone can have it and things that will make the risk higher for you or anyone you know are a person's lifestyle choices, their diet choices, how much they exercise, etc. Diabetes type 2 is the result of when someone's pancreas cannot produce enough insulin to support the person's body. 
which can lead to many complications and diabetes type 2 in general, actually. Sometimes you're born with diabetes, but most of the time it's because of high sugar levels, because of a lack of exercise or an unhealthy diet. Some symptoms include frequent urination, excess thirst, mysterious weight loss, extreme hunger, blindness, numbness and hazard feet, fatigue, slow healing process, infection, and vomiting. The kidney is also uh, affected uh, by ne nephropathy, which is caused by when your, your blood sugar is really high. Nerve damage is caused by neuropathy, and some symptoms are numbness of your hands or feet and excessive sweating. Um, nerve damage in the feet cause, is caused by poor blood flow, um, which causes numbness and a loss of feeling. It makes it difficult to realize if it's full or not. In coronary heart disease, tag is collected uh, in the coronary arteries, which may not allow the blood to go to the heart. One of the main reasons people get diabetes is because of obesity. An overweight person is more likely to get diabetes than an average healthy person. Also, bad eating habits and non-active lifestyle can lead to obesity. So make sure you start eating healthy and working out daily to avoid obesity and diabetes. Yeah! Thank you for that, students. We really appreciate that information. Here's the latest news about the middle school high school library chess tournament. Today's grand master of the final middle school student uh, council student uh, excuse me student chess tournament is Ali Kichi. His opponent Rain Goff didn't hand it, hand him the win. No siree. The match ended with only four pieces on the board, so it's clear the opponents were well matched. Good game, players. Next up, all will challenge the winner of the teachers' tournament, so please stay tuned for more information about that. But congratulations to both Rain and to Ollie, uh, our chess tournament champion. Calling all gamers, please see Miss Les Brons in the library today during break time. She's calling all gamers to the library today at break. And finally, uh, teachers, please play in the teachers' library chess tournament. Uh, beginners and masters are welcome. Uh, the winner of the teacher's chess tournament, as I mentioned, will uh, square off against Ollie, the winner of the student tournament. And there are three ways, teachers, you can sign up. You can fill out the form in the operating room. Uh, you can follow the Google form link that is embedded in the morning news. I have it uh, here in the morning news. Or you can email Miss Rhonda at your convenience. But feel free, teachers, to jump in and participate in the teacher chess tournament. Happy birthday wishes to Aileen Villani in grade 7 and Kareem Sammy in grade 8. His birthday is on the 18th of November. Let's wish these students a very happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Aileen and Kareem. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, students. That's all I have for today. Please take good care. Have a terrific Tuesday. We will talk with you later.